Hello guys, welcome to another session of PractiTest. In this session, we will learn about workflow customization in PractiTest. So workflow is pretty easy to customize in PractiTest as far as you are aware of the basic defect lifecycle and the statuses that a defect transitions to and from, um, which is pretty standard across the industry. So as far as um, your organization using uh, similar you know, like standards, the the naming convention might be different um, as per um, as per your project requirements, project needs. But uh, most of the basic stuff in the workflow will still remain same. Um, so let's get started uh, to customize the workflow. Click click on the settings drop down and click on the workflow, and then you will see the entity type is an issue uh, so because this is a defect workflow and then you have an option to create a new transition status so for example your organization has specific needs um, uh, for the reporting to manage or to to report the issues based on particular status you can have that uh, status added as well transition status and then um, have that um, that added in the workflow so by default uh, a defect workflow is something um, which when you raise a defect so it moves to the new and then that is you know like from new it can move to opened um, to assign or to rejected so usually you know, like it will be opened um, that means somebody has looked into it and uh, opened the defect so the status will move to open or somebody has looked into the defect but uh, the defect doesn't seem to be valid uh, and we can move to the rejected status uh, then the transitions is available for all group you can restrict this transition to a particular group as well so for example this transition is uh, only restricted to developers that only developer can um, move the defect from new to rejected so in that case only developers will be allowed to reject the defect and nobody else um, so that's the first transition and then from new once it is you know like moved to open so if you go to opened opened here so from open it can be uh, if it is a valid defect it, it will be assigned to a developer um, if it is you know like a, a not valid defect then it can move to rejected right and similar thing here you can uh, restrict it this transition for a particular group as well then after uh, the defect is assigned to a developer he'll move it to you know, like he'll start working on it and he'll fix it so it can move it to fix or um, if a developer finds uh, after doing some analysis that no that's not a defect it's because of the some test data issue or the test environment issue then he has the ability to reject the issue uh, from uh, assigned to as well so there is a transition that we have added to move the defect to rejected you can also add new transition very easily so the drop down will be listed uh, wherein it will give you the list of transition that are allowed so from assigned you can also if you want uh, from assigned directly uh, want to allow developer to close the issue then you can just click on closed and add that particular transition and it will add that transition right to remove the transition just click on this remove link here it will remove the transition so after assigned um, if if it is a valid defect developer will fix it and the def defect will get fixed so once the defect is fixed then the defect can be moved to ready for testing that means the developer has worked on it he has fixed it deployed and then he can move it to ready for testing right so once the defect is available for ready for testing so from ready for testing uh, as soon as it's um, as, as soon as the tester starts working on that defect and he finds that defect has been uh, successfully uh, retested and passed then he can close the defect so can either close it or if that retesting failed then in that case he'll reopen the defect right 
so after reopening the defect in that case it can be either closed because the reopening of the defect was because of the, some other test data issue and test environment issue and not actually um, the defect uh, not actually the fix issue then a uh, developer can put his comments and can close it or if it is still a valid issue and the fix didn't work then it will be again assigned by the dev lead to the developer to work on and it will again follow the same cycle so this is pretty you know, like kind of standard defect life cycle and which which is pretty easy to set up in practice so adding a transition removing a transition uh, and the new status is pretty um, easy so for example we want to add uh, a new transition status ready to be deployed then you can just type in here and click on add and it will add new uh, transition status and then we can assign the new transition from this drop down right so that is pretty much uh, about the workflow customization uh, in practice in the next session uh, we will learn about the users and groups in practice thank you